One of those tracks is in my hand right now. It's entitled this way, Proclaim Liberty. Proclaim Liberty. Those are the first two words out of a verse here in Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 10 says this, Proclaim liberty unto the land, unto all the inhabitants thereof. Now we've taken this verse and used it to talk about the fact that yes, people want freedom in their land because freedom is wonderful, but real freedom, the track goes on to say, comes not from having a national or country freedom, but there's freedom in your soul because you're set free from the sinful chains on you, set free from the condemnation of the sin that you've committed. He's been set free by the Lord Jesus Christ. Without Christ as Savior, people are not free. They are, have a guilty conscience. They have a guilt and fear of death. They lack freedom from coming judgment. They're enslaved by the power of sin. This gospel tract lays out that Christ died on the cross, shed his blood, so that we through him can be saved from our sin, have a clean conscience, have no longer a fear of death. Judgment is gone because Christ paid our sin payment. He was judged on our behalf. And Christ being our savior breaks the power of sin. We are able now to live lives of righteousness and holiness. Great, great gospel track. On the front cover of it is the picture of the Liberty Bell. Proclaim Liberty. Proclaim Liberty.